Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In order to drink a glass of water, all you need to do is take a glass, fill it with water and drink it. But are you aware that this water undergoes a long treatment process before reaching the taps in your homes? Similar to this, it is ironical how we don't realize a simple hello over a communication line undergoes a series of process in order to be received by the receiver. This entire process of sending, processing, and receiving of information forms a communication system. In today's video, we'll be learning about the different elements involved in this process. The first element in our communication system is the information. Without information, there will be nothing to be processed and sent. Information can be an audio signal, video signal, images, or words. If you're talking in your normal tone, then your voice will reach up to a distance of 20 meters. However, if you scream, it might reach a distance of 100 meters. But maybe this still won't be enough for the person at the other end to hear you clearly from a much larger distance. In order that your information is received by the person at the other end clearly, in a communication system, we use a transducer. A transducer is a device that converts any form of physical energy into electrical energy. The input transducer converts the information into electrical energy for further transmission from the transmitter. The sound signal after being converted into an electrical signal goes into the transmitter. At the transmitter, the analog signal is converted into a digital signal. It is encoded, modulated, and then amplified. These processes are needed to increase the signal strength so that the signal can be sent over long distances. We will learn more about this in our upcoming videos. Now that the message is converted into an electrical signal and its strength is increased, it is passed into a channel. A channel is a medium through which information is passed from the transmitter to the receiver. The channel can be wired or wireless. Wired channels include telephone lines, coaxial cables, and fiber optic cables. Wireless channels include air, water, and vacuum. When the information is passed through a channel, unwanted signals interfere with the channel. This is known as noise and degrades the information quality. From the receiver end, all the process that the information has undergone will be reversed to extract the original information. At the receiver, the information is passed into a noise filter, then to a digital to analog converter. After this, the signal is demodulated and finally it is amplified to compensate for any losses which might have occurred over the channel. From the receiver, the information is passed to an output transducer. Opposite to the input transducer, the output transducer converts the electrical energy into its original form. The signal is finally received at the destination. If we look at the entire process at a glance, the information from the source is passed to a transducer that converts the information to electrical signals. From here, the electrical signals are passed into a transmitter where it undergoes analog to digital conversion, modulation, and amplification. The signal is then sent over a channel. From here, the information is received at the receiver where it is converted from digital to analog signal, demodulated, and then amplified. Finally, at the output transducer, the electrical signal is converted back to its original form and received at the destination. Well, that's all about the elements of the communication system. We will learn more about them in our upcoming videos. Until then, bye!